Hello? Are you there, Osman? Hello? Yeah, mute YouTube, please mute YouTube. You can keep it running, but mute it. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, sorry about that. I lost no, my internet no, connection. No problem. So I was saying you are a Muslim, right? Yeah. But you are a real Muslim, not fake. Sorry, what, what was that? Can you say Shahada to prove that you are a Muslim? Yeah, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. What does that mean? That there is no God but Allah and that Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. So why you are putting the name of Allah with the name of Muhammad? Are you a mushrik? No, no, it's not. Uh, it's not to do with mushrik. Uh, it's just to say that the Prophet Muhammad is the is the messenger. Yeah, but you are associating the name of God with the name of a man. Is Muhammad a man or a god? No, no, he's one of the best men of all time. Doesn't matter. Why you don't say the name of Jesus with him? Why you don't say the name of Abraham? Why don't say the name of Adam? Why you chose only the name of Muhammad out of 124,000 messenger? Because you are a mushrik. Anyway, this is yes. another topic. We will go there for uh, you. You asked me about Jerusalem, right? About the land of the Jews. Yeah. Do you, do you, yeah, because listen. Yeah. Go ahead. Because in the Bible, it even says that the Jews were expelled by, by God. Even hmm. the actual Jews today, hmm. they believe that that land does not belong to them. Exactly. It's only the Zionist Jew. No problem. But you but you forgot that God, he expelled them as a punishment and God, he brought them back. Isn't it God who brought them back with Moses? So here we go, they are expelled. Show and me proof. The Quran in front of you, here we go. Chapter 5, verse number 21. After they've been expelled, the, ex the expel happened first. You know, they've been taken as slaves. And then now God, he brought them back to their land. Chapter 5, verse number 21, the verse in the front of you. Give me one second. Let me open up YouTube. No problem. <clears throat> you do not need to open YouTube. Open your laptop. I mean, your uh, Quran, if you want. Chapter five, verse number twenty. No, nah, that's fine, man. All right. That's fine. I'm I'm live on YouTube now. Let's see. All right. Let's read it together. Read it. Go ahead. Don't misinterpret the the verse, please. I will not. It's you, the Muslim. You are the scholar. I'm learning from you. Go ahead. Tell me what it says. It says, "All oh, my people." into the holy land mm. which Allah has assigned to you and mm. turn not back in flight for then you will be re returned as losers okay who is talking now that's God uh, uh, speaking to Moses okay but you have to read the tafsir of Jalalain okay read you can't just uh, no, no problem but you can't just no problem is that Jalalain is your God or Allah He's not our God. Okay. Okay. So you need to understand no that problem, he's, no he problem. was one of the we, best scholars. Okay. We will go to Ajila name. But there's a verse here that says that Allah he assigned the land to the people of Moses. Does it say that or not? Yes, he did. But later he takes it away from them okay. and gives it to the Palestinian people. Okay. Where, where it says Allah he took it away from them and he gave it to the Palestinian. If you show me that, I will shave my 20 foot beard. Go ahead. Because when Umar, when he, uh, no, no, friend, Umar, my friend, my friend. Uh, when you he took it, off, no, you said Allah, he took it away from them. Can you show me the verse where it says Allah, he took it away from them and he gave it to Palestinian? You mentioned the word Palestinian. I heard you. Okay. This is Tafsir al Jalalain in front yeah. of you. Tafsir al Jalalain. It says here, all my people enter the Wait, Holy Land. Second. Show me. Okay. I can't see anything on the screen. We'll maybe okay, take... let's read it. Let's okay. read it together. Okay, read it. You read it from your English is better than mine. Uh, all my people, uh, into the holy, into the holy, the purified land which God, which God hmm. has ordained for you, which I command you to enter. And this is serial Shem. Do not turn back in flights. Hmm. Yeah, it is. Look, listen. It is true that God gave them this land, hmm. but later, but later He expels them. That's why the Jews when, today. When, when, when this happened? Where? When did He expel them? Show me the, the verse where it says expel them from the land you are talking about, which is Jerusalem. Okay. And Israel. Okay. Why? Okay. Why weren't Jews? Why weren't Jews living in that land for hundreds of years? Now they are just occupied it now. So, okay, so you're, you're, they knew. They, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me now the Roman are Muslims? 
What's that? The Roman or Muslims, and because they are the one who made the Jews run away, the Roman. No, no. So, Listen. so you, it's not your God then. This is so. So it's not God who expelled them. This is a lie. It is the Roman because the Jews they side with the Persian during the war with the with the Roman. So the Roman they kicked them out, and the, the Jews whoever left for their safety they ran away because they joined the uh, the enemy of the Roman. And even the Quran speak about it. A chapter, the chapter of a room. You're a prophet. Remember, you are a Muslim, right? Yeah. Okay. You're a prophet. He says when the Roman they are going to be victorious, the Muslims will be happy. Correct? Yeah. What? Yeah. All right. What do the scholars say? What do the uh, scholars say my about friend, this? My, my friend, you are the one who said to me a Jalalain. I showed you a Jalalain. He's your scholar, your choice. So when the Roman were defeated, oh, when, when the Roman were defeated, Muhammad, he claimed that Allah told him that the Roman will be victorious and the believers will be rejoicing. Why? They will be rejoicing. Is the Roman Muslims? No. So why the why the believers they will be rejoicing? Here it says, when the Roman will defeat the enemy, the Persian, the believers will have a rejoice. Why? Why you will have a party when the Roman win the war? I don't know how to I don't know how to explain this one well, you can't explain it because Muhammad is a flip-flop Muhammad in the morning he is a Jew afternoon he is a Christian in the in the end in the in the, in the night club he is a, an Arab a pagan so Muhammad here suddenly he is siding with the Christians against the Persian and he is saying when the Roman they win we will have a party because they are believers. But isn't it your prophet? He says that the Roman are mushrikeen and they are kuffar. So how the, if the Muslim yes, will rejoice? They're kafir. Okay, so how they are kafir and the Muslim will rejoice if the kafir win? <laughs> now let us go back. So the Jews were not cooked by Allah from their land. That is a lie. The land was given to all to the Jews by Allah, and you are the one who did read for me. And even in the interpretation you choose, it says, "Don't turn your back from it, never." Otherwise, you will end as a loser. Correct? Does it say that? Don't. Okay, but wasn't it that Umar? My, uh, my friend, wasn't Umar? Wasn't he the one that took over Jerusalem? Okay, Umar he took over Jerusalem, but at that time there was no Jews anyway. It was only the Christians there. Yes, but he took all of, but he, he captured that land. He took over that area. No problem. And then we kicked him out. And what does this have to do with the Jews? Show me proof. Who, no, no one kicked him out. Okay, who is, hold on. No, what do you mean nobody kicked him out? We kicked the Muslims out. Right now, who is the one controlling the controlling Jerusalem? If you, because if you look at history, okay, yeah, friend, if you look at history, the, one, the Muslims, my, my friend, they the never lost a, today, they today. never lost a single war. No, you lost all the war. Even your prophet, he lost many. I can show you tons of them. And your prophet, he lost his teeth with it too. Even though he don't, he don't go to fight, he hide in the behind. But your prophet always he lose. You never heard of Ahud? You never heard of, 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 of Badr al-Sura and Badr al-Kubra? What are you talking about? But there's not to change topic now. The most, so listen, listen, listen. The listen. Muslim. Okay, listen. When Allah He promised the Jews to give them the land, why He promised them to give them the land? He He gave them the land, but then the Jews they disbelieved. They became kafirs. Okay, hold on. So you are saying that this land belonged to the Jews, and if you change your religion, we have the right to take it away from you. Correct? Yes. Okay, so now you Muslims, if you, you know, because you used to be uh, the the people in Mecca, they used to be pagan, right? And then they became Muslims. So now because they, they became Muslims, uh, uh, you change the religion. That's mean the pagan, the one who owned the land, because the one who changes religion is the one should lose the land. So the land should go back to the Arab pagan, not to the Muslim. We should kick the, the Muslims out of the, of the land. And according to your version too, the one who built the Kaaba, it was Abraham, correct? Yeah, uh, okay. Abraham and his sons, they built the Kaaba. Okay, no problem. Uh, Abraham and his son, they built the Kaaba, that's wonderful. So now, Abraham and his son, they built the Kaaba. Then, 
the Arab took over the Kaaba, correct? Then the Arab, um, they changed their religion, yeah. they became Muslim, so we should kick them out because you are the one who said, the one who changed the religion, we should kick him out. He lost the land. Um, Indonesian, they used to be Hindus, Buddhas, they changed the religion, many of them, they became Muslims, so we should kick them out according to you. Anyone he changes religion, we should kick him out. So your God, Allah, is a funny God. So he gave them the land. He did not know that the Jews later will change the religion, according to you. He don't, do he know or he don't know? No, you're, you're right. Hmm. So he knew, right? He knew that they are going to change religion or not? No, yeah, God knows everything. Okay, so as long as he knew, why he gave it but... to them anyway? And he said to them, don't retreat, don't leave it. And not only that, he says to them, go and kill the Palestinians. Don't Allah knew that those Palestinians later, they will become Muslims? So it is your Allah who ordered the Jews to kill the Palestinians. And not only that, the Jews, they refuse to go and kill the Palestinians. Allah, he insists, and because they refuse, Allah, he made them lose their way in the desert for 40 years. Is that correct? Yeah, that's true, man. Okay. That's true. So Allah, he get angry from the Jews for not killing the Palestinians. So why you are angry for the Palestinian today when it was Allah who was so upset for not killing every single Palestinian? And not only he's angry, he made them lose their direction so they will not go there for 40 years as a penalty. So according to your book, the Jews are bad if they don't kill Palestinians. The Jews are good if they kill Palestinians. And the Quran in front of you. Uh, can you just show me what, what chapter that is so I can look the, it up on my screen? The same chapter, chapter 5, and I'm reading it right now for you, verse number 26. We showed you 21, 22, 23, chapter. 24. So chapter 5, 26. It yeah. says it clearly, because they refuse to go and fight with Musa to kill the Palestinians, the Allah decided to make them lose their way and they will not enter it until 40 years. Yeah, therefore, this holy land is forbidden to them for 40 years. Mm. In distractions, they will wander through mm. the land. So be not sorrowful over the people who are rebellious and disobedient to Allah. Mm. So you are seeing, so, you, not, so now what we are seeing, that the Jews, if they want to be good people, they should call the Palestinians according to the Quran. So your God is the one encouraging violence, and to slaughter the, the, the Palestinian, otherwise Allah is upset from them. This is the verse in front of you. And not only is upset, he punished them severe punishment. He made them lose their way in the desert. Imagine 40 years in the desert, they cannot find direction. All of this because they refuse to kill the Palestinians. So your God is the, is the killer of the Palestinians. It's not the Jews, the Jews refuse. The Jews, they said, we will not do it. We are not going to kill the Palestinian. Allah, he's got so angry and so upset. He says, because you refuse to kill the Palestinian, I'm going to punish you and make you lose your direction for 40 years. Why your God, he hate the Palestinians? Does it say why he hated the Palestinians? You tell me, you are the Muslim, remember? Maybe they rebelled against him. Friend, before you call me, you said you are going to get me busted. So I'm waiting for your bust. Uh, don't tell me, does it say? You, uh, are you asking me? I want to learn from you. So here we go, go and bust me. Allah, he is so upset. He want them to kill the Palestinian. The Jews refuse. So according to your book, the, 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 Jews are very, yeah. the Jews are very nice people. They were very merciful. They don't want to kill the Palestinian. Your God is the one who loves to slaughter every single Palestinian. Yes, that's yeah. That's because at that time there were no Muslims. There's a, uh, okay. God is talking so, about uh, so you Prophet Moses. So you are saying that your Muslims uh, are a bunch of racists. If somebody don't believe in our religion, we have to kill him. And you are speaking about a human right. So based on you now, you have to kill everyone is an American, everyone is a Japanese, everyone is a Chinese, everyone is a German. If he is not a Muslim, so what kind of religion this religion is? Just because they are not Muslim, we can kill them. This is what you just said to me. No, no, I'm not. 
No, I'm not saying that. That's what God is saying. No, no, no. You that's believe, what God is saying. I'm not be, saying but that. But you believe in that God, don't you? Don't you believe in what he said? And you are the one who gave me the answer. It's not your God. It's you who said, because at that time they were not Muslims, so it's okay to kill them. So it's okay to kill me. It's okay to kill us and your neighbor. It's okay to kill everybody who is not a Muslim. And you go and you fool people say, support us against the aggression of the Jews. When in fact, you Muslim believe in killing every single person who is not a Muslim. What kind of evil religion this religion is? Uh, can I speak, uh, Mr. Christian Prince? Okay, my friend, I'm, I'm asking. Can I say something? Yes, for sure you can, and that's why we are talking. Yeah, I, yeah. All right, sure, I understand what you're saying, and I, I, I get what you mean, okay? Okay. You want to know the reason why that uh, Allah uh, has uh, ordered uh, Prophet Moses and his people to kill these people. Is that correct? You told me but already. you need to look at the context. You gotta know why he. My friend, you gotta know why he ordered them you told to me. conquer the land and to kill the people, you told just me, you like told in me. the Old Testament. No, 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 you told like me when already. God says to kill the. My friend, you told me. When, you told me because they are not Muslim. You forgot a second yeah, ago. You told me because they are not Muslims. So you gave me the answer. Why are you repeating yourself? Because they are yeah. Muslims, so we got it. So now because yeah, okay, they are yeah, Muslims, yeah. so are you saying now, okay, is the Shia, is the Shia and Iran Muslims? No. So should you kill them? No, no, we shouldn't kill people. God says in the Quran what are you that if about? you kill one ago. person, it's like killing all of mankind. No, Allah did not say that in the Quran. This is what supposedly was given to Musa. This is the law of the Jews. The Jews, if they, the, the God of the Jews said, if you kill one person as if you killed all mankind, so your prophet is copying from the Old Testament, and it was given to Moses, not to you. And you are the one who just said to me, the Palestinians, they were not Muslims, so this is why he ordered to kill them. So you are saying to me that because what is guilty in Allah's eyes is you not being a Muslim, and you deserve to be killed, correct? No, uh, so what no, is that's the, not it. What is the, the reason? You say, uh, you say no, listen, that, listen, why, you gotta, why you are changing your words? Isn't you who say it? Because they are not Muslims. Yeah, I did say that. Okay. I did say that. So but what is the I'm, I'm ignorant. I don't know all things. But are you ignorant? But are you ignorant when you say to me because but the there Muslims? Is My friend, are you ignorant? Are you saying you you are saying wrong to me when you said because they are Muslims? No. Okay, so you're what saying, I'm saying okay, is, uh, what so, you call it? You gotta look at the context. My friend, you are the one who gave me the answer. Stop telling me, get, get the contact. It's you who get the contact. It's you who gave me the answer. You insist it's true. You said because they are not Muslims. So based on what you are saying, anyone is not a Muslim. We have the right to take him away, take his land away. So Allah, well, he ordered the Jews to kill them because at that time they were not Muslims. So if a land today is not a land of Muslims like Thailand, well, we have to go and kill them. Let me ask you, did your prophet say go and attack the Romans so we can get the blondie girls? Don't, the prophet, he's not a womanizer. Please don't uh, misguide people. Okay, my friend. The prophet is not a, a womanizer. I, I did not say anything. I said, did he say that or not? Did I say he was, did I say womanizer? Did I say that word? I did not say anything. I said, did he say that or not? Yes. Okay. No, because you're saying the prophet, he wanted to attack the Romans for the blondies. The, okay, the but, prophet, he doesn't he, care did, about women and girls say, or things like that. He, okay, my friend, did he say attack the Roman and get the blondies yes or not? Of course not. This is this is a lie. This okay, is, here we this go. Is, this is okay, fabrication. No here we go. It's in the front of you. This is Tafsir al-Tabari, hadith number 16786. Qala Rasulullah. صلى الله عليه وسلم اغزوا تغنموا بنات الأصفر يعني نساء الروم and I'm willing to give you the link in your Skype and I can't see platform. on my screen no problem you, do you speak Arabic? pardon? do you speak Arabic? No, no, I, I can't speak Arabic. Okay, no problem. We can use Google Translation. Here we go in front of everybody. I'm going to click at Google Translation. No, no, you you can read. I did. It's, no, no, you can read. I'll take the, your word the for messenger, it. The messenger of Allah says, attack the woman so you can get the daughters of the yellow. He meant the, the women of the woman. And I'm going to copy the link. I will post it in the chat so everybody can do the same. And I will do use Google Translation. And this is your Islamic website. Here we go. Can you? Here we go. This is Islam. Web. 
Can let you me... send it to me on Palco, please? Sure, sure. Can you send on. it to me on Palco? Sure, go ahead. Let me let me give it to you in a second. Give me a second. Here we go. You can use Google Translation from your side. I remember the second I said that to you, you said my prophet is not a womanizer, which means you agreed that if he said that, he is a womanizer. He is after women. He's not after God. So now we go back. Open, please, the website I just gave you. Click in it. Click at Google Translation from your side. Translate to English. All right. So what the prophet said? Attack the woman so we can get the blonde. What diverse. is this, sir? sir the door of my friend hadith number 1678 conquer the attack the roman so you can get the yellow yeah. the daughter of the yellow meaning the the women of the roman <laughs> what kind of a prophet this prophet is uh the the, the english translation is it is showing something else it's not showing no problem read for me hadith number 16787 it says Conquer the daughter of the yellow, meaning the women of the woman. So he's saying the translation is, is wrong. You agree? He's saying attack the woman so you can get the daughters of the yellow. The yellow is the blonde, meaning the women of the woman. Hadith number 16787. What kind of a prophet you do say sir, such a thing? Is this Sahih? You tell me. If is this Sahih, sahih or Daif? Everything is Daif for you. I mean, is, is that your book? Is that tafsir? If it is wrong, why it's in the tafsir? Conquered the daughters of the yellow, many the wombs of the robes. Then he mentioned. That. Hmm. So you're a prophet. Yeah, that's because yeah. the Romans they were coffee. So, because they are kafir, let us attack them, get their woman, right? Get the blondie. So, he's seducing his men to go attack the neighbors who they are Roman, they are not Muslim, so we can steal their daughters. What a great religion. So, now if the Jews attack Hamas, no, and that, Allah, that, listen, that, let me show you how stupid the logic of Islam. Don't be upset from me, I'm using the word stupid because this is stupid. According to what you just said now, the Israeli army. They can attack Hamas and they can take all the women and rape them, especially the blonde ones, because they are not Jews. No, that's because the Romans, they wage war against him first. Because uh, they were Roman, trying to the, the spread the Roman, uh, Christianity. The Roman never wage war against Muhammad. Secondly, even if that ever happened, what kind of a prophet says, attack them so we can get their daughter, the blondie? He did not say attack them so they can convert to Islam. He says attack them so you get the blondie. <laughs> I got to speak to my sheikh about this. Okay. Well, I, I will save the... I, I have an offer for you. Why you don't call your sheikh right now and let him join us in the conversation? Uh, because he's asleep. He's asleep? Okay, what about tomorrow? He's, sleep he's sleeping. I come always online. He can call me. You can call me and let him join with us. What do you think? Is he a big shake? Is he like a strong shake? Well, he, he's he, he well he's a sheikh. He he's uh, he's been studying Islam for like ten years. Okay, like so, 10, 15 years. But do you think he have a good knowledge, or he is just a kid? No, no, he's 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 a very knowledgeable guy. All right, so that's why I'm so, going to say what you said, okay. and, and I'm going to show it to him. Okay, so what? What? The, so, do you promise me to let him call me? Can I have a promise from you? Well, uh, I, well, I gotta speak to him if he wants to talk to you. Uh, right. If he wants so, to talk. Okay, no problem. You you find your way with the, with your guy now. So now, and then what we learned that Allah He yeah. gave the land to the Jews, and this is the land of the Jews. That's it. It's Allah who brought them there. All right. Yeah, it's Allah. Okay, now let me ask you. You must then. Yeah. You want the Aqsa Mosque, right? You want the Aqsa Mosque, correct? Uh, yes, we do. We okay. Who is the one who built the mosque? Uh, who built the mosque? Yeah. Was it Solomon? Okay. So how this is your mosque? If this is the one who built it, is Solomon? Uh, because Solomon. Uh, he's a Muslim. 
Uh, All the prophets uh, are Muslims. Alexander the Great is a Muslim. A donkey is a Muslim in Islam. Birds are Muslims. Pigs are Muslims. Cockroaches are Muslims. I mean, what's wrong with you, Muslims? Doesn't matter. <laughs> you, you are claiming that he is a Muslim, but this is Suleiman. He is the son of David. This is the king of the Jews. You made him Muslim just to hijack the land? That's it. You made him a Muslim. There's, there's any proof? Anyone? If there's any proof he was a Muslim, like why? He used to kiss the stones? He used to kiss a black stone? Anyone who submits their will to God is a Muslim by default. Suleiman, he never submit his will to your God. He never did. Let me ask you, Suleiman was a Muslim. Is Muslims allowed to have a statues in their synagogue or their mosque? No, no. Uh, you can't. It's it has to be destroyed. So if Suleiman he have a, 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 yeah, yeah. if he have a statues in his in his a temple, is that will make him a Muslim or will make him a kafir? So can you repeat that again? If Suleiman he put a statues in his temple, whatever temple he built, you call it mosque, you call it temple, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. he put a statues, is that will make him a Muslim or will make him yeah. a pagan? If if Suleiman, okay, if he builds statues of himself, the statues for in his temple statues, and stuff, the statues he's a pagan. For, okay, he's a pagan. That's wonderful. So how come the Quran says that Suleiman? He's a pagan. Okay, he's a mushrikeen. Okay, he's a mushrikeen. He's wonderful, a mushrikeen. guys. He's a mushrikeen. Wonderful. So he's not a Muslim, right? He's not a Muslim if he did that, correct? The one who built the statues in his synagogue. Yeah. Okay, but the Quran says that uh, Suleiman he built. Uh, one second, one second, one second, kiss. One second, Christian prince. It's not just uh, Muslims. It's also uh, Christians that say those who build. Uh, no problem. My even friend, Christians believe they say friend, you shouldn't build. Idols. My friend, we are trying to that, find now if Suleiman is a Muslim or not. It's you who say to me he's a Muslim, but the Quran says that Suleiman he built. I'm saying. He, okay, hold on. Suleiman he built large statues in his Aqsa Mosque. That's what the Quran says, chapter thirty-four, no. verse number. Chapter 34, verse number 13, read it. Show me. Don't fabricate things. Uh, I don't fabricate. I'm I mean, everything I said to you, I'm showing you on the screen. And yet you said to me, fabricate. Shame on you. Show respect. I'm talking to you nicely. Is this Quran or, or is this, this is, Quran. is this in the Quran or Bukhari? No, this is Quran. Are you going to say right, to me? Let's read. Are you going to say to me this Quran is weak? Obviously, it's weak, maybe. What do you no. think? No, the Quran is no weak. Okay. The Quran is the perfect word of Allah. A very perfect, a lot of perfection there. I, you know, you made me laugh when you say that. So, if we go to the verse right now, we will see that this God Allah, uh, He have a man. His name is Suleiman. He built a synagogue. You see, it says synagogue, and he put in it statues. You see it? Uh, can I read, please? Go. They work for him as he desired, making arches, images. Read. This translation is messed up. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So did he build the statues? And you are the one who said to me, main... if he have a statues, he is not a Muslim. Uh, the the may for him what he willed, synagogues and stat statues, bezels hmm. like walls and bowls. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, but statues of what? Is it was it, who, who built it? He built it, or other people built it they for are, him? They are doing his command. The genie, the genie working for him. He is the boss. He is the king. He have the ring. The, you watch the movie, the Arabutar. He have that ring. So he have the ring. He controlled them. And those genie, they built for him whatever he want. He ordered them to build the statues in the synagogue and even pictures. So Suleiman, he he wanted to build that. Who is that? Or was it other it's, people my friend, him? It says Allah, he gave him the command of the genie to do this to him. Allah is the one who told him to do so. When is Suleiman, Allah, he gave him the wind, the flying carpet. So he go and he take it, he fly with it. And the distance yeah, of one morning. Flying carpet, I mean. It's in front why, of you. Verse why did you two. mention flying carpet? It's, it, it, is there. Not it, in. it is there, the flying carpet. Verse number 12, read it. 
You're making mockery. You think that this is LED I'm cartoon? You, this I'm, is not it, man. I, 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 thank you. He just admitted this LED cartoon, guys. Be my witness. It's not me who said that. So in front of you, it says Allah. He gave him the command in the wind to fly with it. This is the flying carpet. Go and read the interpretation. It is you who said to me, "Don't give your own interpretation. Read the interpretation." Do, do you want me to show you the interpretation? It says Allah. He gave him a mate, made of wood. He command the wind, and then the wind show me, carried. Show me. What interpretation you want? Show me Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Okay, Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Guys, remember, he is the one who chose it. No problem. Chapter 34, verse number 12. Ibn Kathir. You got it? We have very good customer service here. All right? Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. And let us see what Ibn Kathir he says. Read with me. <clears throat> Uh, uh nothing's on my screen yeah you will see it hold on give me a second i'm just reading where it is explained that to me uh you take uh you take you take things out of context uh cp my friend it's you who chose you gotta read the whole passage friend, it's, it is you who chose emika theory so whatever emika theory right. says whatever emika theory says we will take it right okay here we go read with me Having mentioned the yeah, blessing which is right. okay, has, right. have favored Dawood, Allah follow follows by his uh, uh, mentioning what he have give, gave to David and son of Solomon. May peace be upon them both. He subjugated the wind to him so it could carry his carpet. Do you see it? Does it say his carpet or I'm making things up? Let me zoom in for you. Here we go. When I say the flying carpet, you said don't make fun. You are exaggerating. You are lying. Well, this is the flying carpet. And you are the one who says you made Islam like Alibaba. Sinbad. Exactly. It is Sinbad. This is This is Ibn Kathir. You are the this one is who the asked, first time you, I'm reading. My friend, you are the one who asked me to go to Kathir. It's not even my choice, correct? Isn't it you who said to me, go to Ibn Kathir? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is Ibn Kathir. Let me give you the link. Yeah, Here we go. I will, give you, right. I, I will give you the link. Here we go. So this is Ibn Kathir. And by the way, Ibn Kathir in English is way nicer than Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Because in, in Arabic is horrible. There's 600,000 chairs on the top of the flying carpet. 600,000 chairs in one flying carpet. Uh, so what do you say? He gave What's the Arabic? Can you? What's the Arabic word that's used for carpet? Uh, Besot, or uh, meat. Uh, so you know, there's many. Besot. So, so what we will do now? Oh, this is first time I'm reading. So what do you think? You should leave Islam right now because you are the one who said, not me. Uh, you made it like uh, Alibaba. So you admit now that this is Alibaba. This is fiction. This is stupid. This is, you know, and you, you are the one who says to me, don't make it, you know, come on. Don't say that. You make it like Alibaba. It's you who mentioned that. But this is Alibaba's story. I agree with you. No, I mentioned. What you mentioned? It's you who said that. Everybody heard you. This is... It's you who said to me, don't say that. This is not, there's no flying carpet. Don't make it like Alibaba, funny Alibaba. Well, uh, I got to reflect on this. I got to reflect on this and and what? So they will carry his carpet. I got I got to save this one. I got to save this link and I, I will show it to my sheikh. You can show it to whoever you want. Because uh, I don't think. But my friend, is that Ibn Kathir? Is that your Mr. Website? Make, this doesn't make can, sense. can Ibn Kathir fix it? I mean, can your Sheikh fix it? Who is your Sheikh? Here we go. You are the one who chose Ibn Kathir. This is the master of your masters. Saying it's a flying carpet. Nah, you're right. Okay, so? Ibn Kathir. I mean, there is one of the best that, it says according to Ibn Kathir, just to show you how the, the Muslim translation in uh, 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 in English, actually even here it says that, let me see, it says here, so the flying carpet one way for a month, 
and go back again next month al hasan al basri said he set out from damascus in the morning and then uh, 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 he he go to a, to a, like a, a let us say a, 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 like an area he called Astakhar, I don't know where is that located and then he go all the way to Kabul, Kabul in Afghanistan yeah that's can I read it please uh, just one second one second please he said that from Damascus in the morning then he ate a meal and this is all with a flying carpet yeah this is the flying carpet this is a make theater and this is the Quran Oh man. Oh man, this is messed up, my friend. This is really messed up. It, this is like from Aladdin. Yeah, this is Al Aladdin, you are right. I mean, you know, I don't know, how old are you? Are you really going to believe in this madness? Be honest with me. It's you who said Alibaba. It's you who made fun of it because, and you thought I'm lying to you. If I am you, I will leave this cult immediately. This is stupid. I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just telling you my, my, my opinion. Don't you agree with me? Be honest. Be honest with me. Don't you agree that this hey. is stupid? Be honest, Othman. All right. I'll be honest, okay? But what I'm reading right now, okay, it's, um, it's silly. It is silly. But... I, but I need to know more about it. I needed to know like the context, like what's about. Okay, let me. You know what I mean? Uh, Orthman, listen to me. Do you think Ibn Kathir he dared to say something is not what Islam teach? And the Muslims agree upon. No, nah, he wouldn't do that. Okay, no. so that's it. There's no need to question no. him 